Friends and family gathered tonight in Vienna for a candlelight vigil honoring Freddie McKenzie Jr. McKenzie was the serviceman shot to death early Easter morning. Zach Merchant tells us those who loved him are now trying to come to grips with his loss. It was a chaotic scene early Easter morning near Pine Street in Vienna. GBI Special Agent in Charge JT Rickinson says a couple dozen shots were fired. One of them hit Freddie McKenzie Jr., killing him. Also let them know, Lord, that you are too wise to ever make a mistake, Lord. But as the sun set Wednesday night, the mood was different. Those who loved him gathered to remember a man they say was like family. Family first, protector. He was, like I said, he was a big brother to me. Jamari Statham isn't a blood relative, but says he and Mackenzie got close while serving in the military together. Statham says he was planning to visit Mackenzie at home for the first time next weekend. I used to always ask him, like, when I'm going to get to meet, meet his mom and meet his sisters and all of them. And now that I'm here, it's like... I didn't want to. I didn't want to meet him like this. He was a welcome sight to the family, but he couldn't stop their pain. Mom don't bury their sons or their daughters. It always be the oxygen. The children bury you. Mackenzie was Shirley James's son. She says she was proud of his service to his country, and though she's upset, she's not looking for payback against his killer. I still love him, whoever you are. I let God handle it. Cause when he handle it, he gonna handle it. I'm hurting now. But you're gonna hurt worse. As for Statham, he just misses his role model. If I could tell him anything, I would say I'm glad that I met him. I thank his mom. I thank God that I met him because now I got a, I have a standard of what loyalty is and what family is. But now that family is one short. In Vienna, Zach Merchant, 13 WMAZ Eyewitness News. Special agent in charge J.T. Ricketson says investigators collected three guns connected to the shooting but so far made no arrests. He asked anyone with information to call the GBI tip line at 1-800-597-8477.